Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fish and Vids. Well, I finally got out to do some fishing out here. Last time I was out was fishing my uh, BFL on the James River, the fourth stop for the Piedmont Division. Did pretty well. I just put up the video fairly recently and uh, I'm in fourth place right now in the division. So hopefully with the last tournament of the year down on Smith Mountain Lake, the Super Tournament, hopefully I uh, have a shot here at the Angler of the Year. So let's see how that plays out. So here's the deal. I'm out here after crazy, crazy flooding in Maryland and Mid-Atlantic and a psycho heat wave to a 63 degree warning with still 80 degree water. Look at the mist all over the water. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's about 6.20 in the morning. I'm trying to get a top water boy, so I gotta do something quick here. I gotta get out here and do some fishing. But let's throw down on a mystery tackle box for the month uh, of July and see what we got going on. I've looked in this box and I've got a few things in here that are very interesting and uh, kind of nostalgic too. So take a look at this. I've got a chase bait, Wiggle Bomb. This is a really neat hollow bodied frog looking deal really natural kind of a brown bronze pattern with a curly tail this thing's got a curly tail on it so that's gonna be an interesting to throw there's not a lot of vegetation in my lake but there are now snakeheads in my lake so I wouldn't doubt a snakehead would love to eat that not to mention a big old bass so we'll see what happens there we got a lucky John we got an X gear I've got a shallow diving crankbait again in a really natural pattern fortunately my lakes really clear this is a great option Maybe not now because 80 degree water temperatures, I feel like these fish are gonna be pretty deep. So we might not be throwing that crankbait today, but I got a good one there from Lucky John. Guys, this takes me way back. This is where nostalgia comes in. I caught the biggest topwater bass, the first big topwater bass of my life on a hula popper. And now I've got a crazy looking hula popper, really upgraded paint job, all kinds of crazy stuff with hula popper. So this is really just a special bait to me. And now I got one thanks to the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. How cool is that? All right. Biospawn Exoswim. I got a new color. I've got a bunch of Biospawn Exoswims, but check out that awesome color. Isn't that great? I got that kind of greenish back with a pearl belly. You know I'm going to dip that tail in some chartreuse and make that look like a bluegill swimming around in my local lake here. So that's an awesome swim bait. I might throw that today. And check this out. What the heck is this? Thousand fish. I'm not going to even try to pronounce this, guys. If you can say this three times fast, I'll be awful impressed. But Catchco came up with an awesome looking bug bait Ned Rig style finesse thing. So I'm going to be throwing that most likely today. I definitely do well on Ned Rigs out here and I guarantee you, I almost can guarantee you they've never seen this on my local lake. And to go with that, we've got the dead bait mushroom head jig. So we got a great combination right there to do a little finesse fishing here on my local lake. So killer mystery tackle box. I was able to get through that quick because I'm excited to get out here and do some fishing since it's been a while. All right, folks, before that sun comes up over those trees, I'm going to throw that hula popper. Isn't that beautiful out of the box? Just an absolutely awesome looking, not what I'm used to in a hula popper. So I'm going to throw that out there off one of these weedy points and see if I can come up with something. So let's get at it with some top water action to start the day and go from there. Sunrise nowadays is right around six o'clock. So I'm a little late. I would have preferred to be out here right at the crack of dawn barely and throwing these top water baits, but can't always get out as early as you want. So I'm happy to be out here with the sun still hiding behind these trees. So let's go ahead and get right out here off this point, see what happens. So my little Lorance here is talking to me. So been out on the water long enough for it to pretty much uh, balance out on water temps, 83 degree water temperature here in the morning. After some really, really cool nights, we've had some temperatures down to the high 50s the past couple nights after that crazy heat wave. But that heat wave really brought those water temperatures up, so it's going to take a lot to bring them back down. So, yeah, 83 degree water temps with a beautiful mist on the water. My confidence level isn't very high when it comes to this top water scene, just for the fact that there's really nothing going on. There's usually a little bit of flickering and popping and jumping around here when it comes to uh, a day that might produce something on top there's nothing going on guys it is really really dead out here all right well i see a lot of fish on the bottom guys a lot of fish way down deep and they're right on the edges of the weeds to get any to come up on top again is going to be a chore i've got a i got a little bit of shoreline here left uh the last bit of shoreline left with some shade before the uh sun just illuminates the whole scene here in the lake so i'm going to go ahead and hit this last little pocket right here off the bank with this beautiful little hula popper. And then we're going deep, guys. We're probably gonna play with that little Ned Rig set up out of the mystery tackle box. I'm definitely gonna set up a shaky head and a drop shot and go from there. All right, well, that'll put an end to my efforts to get a topwater bite. It is time to move on to greener pastures. Hula hop hopper, thanks for the memories. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this away and we'll break out some of those uh, deeper, fast seeking baits. I'm gonna get the drop shot. Maybe the Ned Rig, we'll definitely be throwing a shaky head, that kind of thing. So let's go find some fish. It's time to locate them and drop to them. Okay, folks, I have located fish. The drop shot is in the water, and boy, is it calm out here. So with it being so calm, 
It's a treat to be able to fish as deep as 20 feet with a little eighth ounce tungsten cylinder weight on the edge of some weeds. So I got fish all over here. There's just, there's nothing really huge marked, but there's plenty of fish. So this drop shot is gonna get them. So I've got six pound test as my main leader uh, with eight pound test power pro on this drop shot special custom speed stick by Luz, a 3000 series CI4 Shimano. And the game is on guys. I haven't fished a drop shot on my local lake in a while, but this is the time of the year to do it. And definitely the conditions considering how calm with these bright bluebird skies and a pressured lake. So let's get at it. Let's throw this little robo worm out here and see what happens. I can't remember a day where it's actually been this calm. Look at my bubble line. That's my bubble line from my boat and my trolling motor. It hasn't even moved. It's so calm out here. It's not gonna be stifling hot, but it's gonna be in the mid to high 80s today with a little touch of humidity. So without a breath of wind, it's gonna be a little warm out here. And definitely, definitely, it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough fishing today. So I'm happy to be throwing a drop shot right now to fish that I at least see. So I know I'm not fishing blind because yeah, dog days of summer, guys. You still gotta get out. You still gotta challenge yourself, but it ain't always easy this time of year. There we go, guys. Wow, he just destroyed it. I had a big bite a minute ago, and I got on for the second fish. This is a nice one. Nice little fish. Not a bad little way to start the day. Drop shot, guys. That's two casts in a row. I don't want to tell you what I lost on the very first one. It was a big fish, and I lost it. It just pulled off, but this one doesn't look like he's going anywhere. So let's go ahead and get this fish in and show him off. And there it is, guys. First fish, first drop shot fish in my local lake this month and maybe for a couple months. I don't think I threw a drop shot in here since uh, since the spawn, so this is great. And again, I'm telling you right now, I had a giant on just before this cast. So let's get back out there. I'm on a weed line way off this point and first fish going back. And there we go. Let's see if he stays on. Yep. Only two casts later, so that's one, two, a cast with nothing, and then fourth cast later, another one. A little smaller fish, a little bit of a dink. I might be able to just do that. But there's two fish, guys. There's two fish in four casts. That's absolutely awesome with one bite to start it off right in the nose. See how many uh, these I can catch on these little morning dawns. I brought one pack of morning dawns, one pack of morning dawns with the hot lips. Look at them just keeping it, trying to take it with them. And I got some, uh, I got some margarita mutilator play with so there's a little dink let's get back out there oh my god back to back cast guys a little better fish i definitely got on them that's for sure this uh, little lorance of mine did its job a little bit better fish not not that much bigger but guys how fun is that in the heat of the summer coming out here and having the action be this hot pretty cool there he goes it's a little dangerous move right there with the uh six pound test but I think I've got this thing figured out right in the nose. I am adding a little scent to my bait. I'm adding a little crawfish scent to it just for a little extra taste. And there you go, number three. I'm fishing really, really slow. I'm just letting it hit the bottom, not moving the weight, but just moving the bait. Just keeping a little slack in the line, just giving a little, there he goes. Oops, I got a bite right there. Just a little tick of the line. It's letting that robo worm just dance and I'm just letting it dead stick on the edges of the grass. And there he is, <laughs> barely moving it, and bang, back another back-to-back. -back. That's three. That's three fish in a row, guys. I'm definitely in. I'm definitely into some fish right here. Nice little fish. Very, very cool. How fun is that? Let's get a little crazy. A little bit smaller than the last one. Oh, I lost my robo worm. <laughs> so that's four fish on one robo worm. No complaint. Again, perfectly hooked right in the nose with that little rebarb. There we go. I'm pretty sure I was recording on that fourth fish, but I did just catch that fourth fish and it got my robo worm. So I'm gonna to go to the hologram hot tip, morning dawn with a chartreuse tail, just to show them something different since I'm throwing in the same little hole. Doesn't hurt. Let's give it a little Jack's juice crawfish scent to adhere to all that salt the robo worm has and give it a lot of flavor. Give him another reason to hang on. So here we go. Just let it sink to the bottom. See if we can do this in time. It'd be pretty cool to catch one. All right, sinking, sinking, sinking. I'm only sitting in five feet of water, but I'm dropping, I'm throwing out into about 15 to 20. It's on the bottom, right on the edge of some grass, right where I marked some fish. I'm barely gonna move it. Just let it sit there. Just doing its thing. 
Just a little tiny movement of the rod tip, just moving the line, just moving the bait. Give that a couple seconds, a slow drag towards me. Go slack, dead stick, let it just drop and float it down. Bang, there he is. <laughs> how cool is that, guys? That's how you drop shot. That's how easy a drop shot is. You just can't move it a lot. You just gotta let it go and do its thing, and that robo worm's so soft and so subtle. And man, they, he obviously liked that uh, hologram hot tip, so fortunately I got a bag of those, a bag of Morning Dawn, some margarita muda, like I said, and bang, number five fish. Look at him. How cool is that? Let's go real fast. Oh no, the robo worm. Can I save it? Yes, I will. I want to be nice to the fish first. He's going to float there. I'll get the fish taken care of first. Robo worm's right behind the boat. And the bass is in the boat. Let's get my robo worm. Recovery. <laughs> Got it back. Let's put it back on and catch another one. There we go. That thing hit the second it hit the bottom, kind of like that big one. And this definitely is a bigger fish. <laughs> it's definitely a bigger fish. I hope it's one of the bigger ones. It's a it's a bigger fish. It's swimming at me right now, guys. Let's see if I can make up for lost time with that one I lost. It's It's got to be a bigger fish the way it's running. Yep, it's swimming hard. Let's keep it out of the grass. Let's see if I can show off a bigger fish on a drop shot. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna have to play this fish though, guys. Can't say it's a giant, giant, but I'm telling you, it's digging. It's digging really, really well. It's down the grass right now. It's not where I want them. Let's pull them up just a little bit. Decent fish, guys. Definitely a decent fish. Easy three. Maybe a little more. They always get bigger when they come up. But come on, baby. Oh, that's awesome. So great. Feel better now. Uh oh, stay out of the trolling motor. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Look at the back on this thing. This is an awesome fish. Let's go easy with him. There's no there's no grabbing the line on this one. He got the bait down deep. So the hook is where it needs to be. Come here. Come here. Perfect. Good deal. Now open up. Open wide. <laughs> what do you think of that, guys? <laughs> Tell me the drop shot doesn't do it on dinks and do it on studs like that look at the hook exactly where it wants to be right in the top of the mouth and just a little bit deeper that's the thing about the uh that's the thing about these rebarb hooks they've got a longer shank guys and when you're texas rigging it and you got a longer shank going on you're not going to get you're not going to get that itty bitty little hook down deep and then have that line rubbing up on that sandpaper mouth right there so that's just an absolutely awesome setup and that is an absolutely awesome fish isn't it all right let's put that one back see if there's any more big ones down there Uh oh there we go that was a subtle bite real little guy here's the dink of the day come here don't mess up my setup don't mess it up and go back and grow up all right another fish guys either he's huge and swimming at me or he's a dink and swimming at me Oh, he looks like he's got a little bit. No, he's a little guy. Just some little guy. Starting to slow down here just a little bit. I'm not getting a bite every cast like it was for a minute there, but I'm still catching him. I'm gonna stick. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it just for a couple more minutes. Maybe move up on the point a little bit farther, out on the point a little farther, and see if I can catch him a little deeper. There we go. Nice man. I didn't even feel that bite, folks. I'm on a different point actually threw out a buoy marker after finding some fish and I got a fish on my very first cast. That other spot slowed down a little bit. I was a little worried that maybe I, well, I wasn't worried. I was happy I fished it out, <laughs> caught every fish on the dang point or they just moved on. The, the sun angle and things like that kind of repositions fish. I chased them around for a little bit, but it just wasn't happening. So I made my way over here, threw out a buoy marker and I popped my first bass on the first cast. So let me get him in here. Nothing huge, but he's a nice little chunk. Let's just do that real fast. A little cushion of the rod, and he's in the boat. Another fish right in the nose. Killer day, guys. Killer day. It's only been a couple of hours, and I've been having a blast catching some little guys, catching some one big guy, gal, whatever it may be, and let's continue this uh, trend, hopefully. Look how calm it is out here. Oh, no, it's pretty. It's beautiful Where day. Where are you? Oh, field? hold on. I got one. Oh gosh, hey guys, I got a nice one here. I'm talking to my wife on the phone, isn't that funny? Let's see if I can reel this thing, thing while I'm talking to her on FaceTime. It's actually a pretty nice fish, fellas. I know my wife see this one. Nice fish. Oh, look at that. 
Grant, I'm going to put you down for a minute let you see this action, okay? Here you go. I don't know if you can see it. Am I blocking the view? Can you see? No, you're good. Am I good? All right, here you go. Check it out, honey. All right, guys, this might be the first time I've ever had a uh, live shot of a fish being caught with my wife on the phone. How cool is that? And FaceTime at that. Check this out. Let's see if we can pull this off right in front of her face. What do you think of that, Greta? <laughs> you see it? <laughs> there you go, guys. Another nice one right off the point, right where I just caught the last one. So that buoy marker is doing its job, and so is the rubble worm. So let's get this one back in there and see if we can find one just a hair bigger. Here you go, Greta. You ready for the release? Here it goes. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, right below me. Feels like a good fish. Yeah, it's definitely a bigger fish. I got a nice one, guys. I got a real nice one. I got to play this one a little bit. Oh, he's going to jump. He's going to get me wet, too. That's a nice fish. He's got a skinny little belly on him. Boy, he was right below me. Third fish off this point, and he's hooked really, really well. No line in his mouth. Looking good. He needs to eat a little more. No wonder he grabbed my stuff. Come here, baby. Oh, look at that. Awesome. That's the second biggest fish of the day. Let's turn this boat around. Look at that beautiful day out here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a little hot with that lack of wind, but man, they're biting today, and it's only going to happen, I promise you. I know my lake well. It's only going to happen if I go finesse, that's for sure. He's really struggling. Looks like he might be blind in that one eye right there, but he found my bait. So let's put him back and keep fishing. This point's producing well. There we go. Man, they are hitting so light. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. But boy, it is it is a productive little spot. I mean, I've only hit a total of three spots with a drop shot. One spot it was a really short spell. I moved off it quick when I didn't get anything going on in the first, first five, and this one's taking care of business. There we go. That was definitely a fish eating that. He came back and got it too. A little bit better fish. A little better fish here, folks. Pretty clear water. This water's always really, really clear, but it's got a little bit of color to it today. Just a touch. Come here. I'll grab you just like that because you were hooked so well. A lot of meat to this guy's bones. He's definitely uh, he's definitely a chunky one. Beautiful little fish. Man, it is an awesome day. Go back. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my lord mercy that was a beautiful bite and a nice fish guys nothing huge he felt he felt a lot bigger but you can see how aggressive he is he's a jumper he really snatched this thing up quick what a great bite oh my gosh i love the drop shot guys i'm telling you there, there's nothing else i mean i got a great mystery tackle box but it's just placid calm clear water i know this lake man this this is it right here this drop shot is the ticket and i'm so happy i'm throwing it look at him what a beautiful fish about the same size as the other one, but he is way more aggressive. Crazy. These fish have personalities. And he took my robo worm. Should I retrieve my robo worm before the fish? Why not? Because he is hooked very, very well. And he is making it easy for me to get him. I think he might have a little bit more to him than that last one. But again, guys, look at that rebarb hook right where it belongs killer i'm only going to be out here for a little longer guys not much longer it's gonna be about a four or five hour morning of fishing i'd say i did pretty well there we go oh my god i hope you guys just kind of watch that and see how little i was doing to that bait to get that big old bass to bite i mean literally nothing guys just nothing just barely sitting there and it just loads up. It's incredible. It's such a fun bite. And this might, this just might be giving that other big one a run for its money. It's a good fish. Oh, he's definitely pulling drag. So let's see what we got here. He's big. He's a good one. He's got some head shakes. Barely, barely, barely smaller than that biggest fish of the day. So maybe the second biggest, shorter and fatter than that skinny one-eyed fella. But again, amazingly well hooked. Right and the chomper look at that guys every single one of them that's what's so amazing about this thing unreal right <laughs> just a nice beautiful fish literally almost fish caught exactly where that other big one was look at that that's just great all right i'm gonna keep going we got a little while longer let's see if we can find one bigger than the biggest <laughs> all right little guy it's got to be a little guy i can tell oh uh, yeah, it's just an itty bitty little dude. 
Just swinging this drop shot all around this point and finding fish pretty much on every spot. These little guys are a trip. They just trash your drop shot to the point where you almost have to re-rig the darn thing. All right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. We're going to get one more fish, and we're going to call it, whether it's big or small. All right, guys. This will do it right here. Let's see if it stays on. Nice. Another jumper, a nice... Another nice little cookie cutter. Nothing big, nothing crazy, but just absolutely an incredible day out here in my local lake. So happy I got out for a little morning of fishing here. Glad I threw a buoy marker out and glad I got a drop shot in my hand. All right, let's get in here. Let's see if I can land this guy with a little cushion of that little drop shot special. He's a nice little chunk. You guys just watched me catch my sign out fish. Isn't that awesome? Just an absolutely awesome deal. So here's the deal. Remember guys, Great little mystery tackle box, just a challenging day to play with some of those baits. But remember, you can go to my uh, code down below in the description, YTFE, short for YouTube Fishing Vids. Get $10 off the first box of your new subscription if you use my code. As always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.